Hello, and uh, I hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to try and give a little explainer for this lesson, how representative is Parliament. And I hope when you saw these pictures, they made a little bit of sense. Um, picture on the left is the perfect representation um, in the form of a mirror. Picture on the right is obviously uh, not an accurate representation or representation of uh, the man um, looking into the mirror. So these are kind of two images to typify good representation or effective representation and ineffective representation. So uh, the lesson today, uh, or the lesson you should have got through, uh, there's some key terms. Burkean and delegate model representation. Very simply put, Burkean model representation is the extreme, or let's say um, most uh, refined version of representative democracy. And the delegate model representation, if you read it and you thought, oh, that sounds a lot like direct democracy, that's because it kind of is. Um, it's an attempt to try and merge compromise between direct and indirect democracy. Uh, you give a representative a role, but actually they're just a delegate and you can take them back if they ain't doing the right job. And if they're not following the orders that you as a group have given them. Um, so not like an MP where you have to wait for four years or five years for another election. Um, the two central terms for today's lesson was political and social representation. Political representation meaning Parliament reflecting the ideas of uh, the electorate um, and the opinions and then social representation being Parliament reflecting the demographic of society um, in the UK. And those two things are both forms of representation of the UK or representation of the UK, but are different types of representation. Um, and they're ones that you're going to need to use for this lesson. So the homework you should have done uh, was filling this out. It was very straightforward from the textbook diagram of how a bill passes into a law. Just as a bit of interest, um, this is the most common form of bill, the public bill. The private bill and the private member's bill are far less common uh, because they require the backbenchers to be able to do so. Um, and they normally need the support of the executive to be able to do it. And then legislation passing, this is when the bill goes from a bill to a law. Um, you've got first reading, second reading, committee stage. And by this point here, it's basically done. It's going to happen. And it transfers over to a third and final part of Parliament. You may not know about, you've got the House of Commons, House of Lords, but also the monarch is in uh, Parliament as well because our constitution is weird. And the monarch gives the final seal of approval. They will never not do that. The last time a monarch blocked a bill turning into an act um, was in 1707. So that's not going to happen. You also should have done this straightforward. This straightforward. Um, kind of recap, which should be straightforward. And then uh, this was the main part of the lesson. Um, this here is an attempt to try and assess how effective Parliament is at representing or representing um, the UK. And there are different ways in which it could represent. And I gave you an example of political representation. I did it for you. Um, an example of uh, an MP politically representing the views of their constituents. So for instance, Naz Shah representing the interests of Muslim and Jewish constituents. Um, so thank you, Abdullah, for that one. And although you did basically just nick my one from Absana Begum, but still, it still works. Uh, and some bad examples, the examples of ineffective representation, political representation, um, first past the post being disproportionate is the kind of essential uh, point here. It doesn't represent necessarily how the public vote. Uh, right now we've got a government with a, a large majority in parliament who did not receive um, a majority of the vote of the UK public, they received a minority. In fact, more people did not vote Conservative than did vote Conservative, and that's quite common in first past the post as we know. Um, I then wanted you to look through uh, the other types which were here, which were pretty much all social representation. Um, and I gave you some slides to look at here. And in fact, we did a quiz yesterday or the day before um, that was aimed at testing your knowledge on this stuff. So I hope you found this interesting, useful. Um, a few things to point out. Uh, yes, women. There are more women in Parliament than there were before. However, as many of you probably have noticed, uh, there are 50% of women in the, in the UK. So having 
what is at the moment only 33.8% in Parliament is disproportionate, it is ineffective representation, even if you could argue it's becoming less ineffective over time. Labour Party uh, and Lib Dems, I mean, the Lib Dems are kind of disregarded here because they've only got 11 MPs as a whole, but the Labour Party do have a majority actually of female MPs just, um, which is, you know, taking the lion's share of the work. If you look at the Conservatives, they have over 75% men um, as MPs, so disproportionate. Um, and then if we look here uh, at ethnic minorities, again, really interesting points here about how the Brit British uh, Parliament has become more representative of ethnic minorities. However, again, the question to ask is which ethnic minorities, which class of ethnic minorities, when we're talking here about uh, what we'll come to see next year is what we call, call intersectional politics, or the understanding of ethnicity and class interacting. You've got, yes, you have got a more diverse parliament in terms of ethnic minorities, but are they all coming from a very particular class background? Um, and that brings us onto this slide here where the majority, um, well, the vast majority of the UK do not go to private schools. Um, it's something like 93, 94% do not. However, 27% of the MPs we know about are from what were called independent schools, which is basically a euphemism for private schools. Um, LGBT representation in Parliament is good, and in fact it's actually disproportionately representative if you look um, at the official figures, although 2% of the public openly identifying as gay, lesbian or bisexual um, is probably an underestimate. Um, and there are no trans MPs in the UK, even though percentage-wise there, there should be one if it was representative. Um, so there's still work to be done there. And there's a video here you can see of uh, Ken Clark that you may want to watch in relation to, to Birkin and delegate models of representation. You don't need to, but it's interesting him basically saying, uh, I don't care about the referendum, I'm going to vote with my conscience. And that's what Birkian representation is about, Edmund Burke. Uh, a conservative thinker from the 18th century um, says that once you get elected it is in your power to decide um, because you are the intelligent one you are the educated one and you are the professional politician um, and so the plenary had these three questions um, and I look forward to seeing some of your answers to them um, are the Lords of Commons more politically representative the Commons are however uh, the Commons itself isn't that effectively political representative because of first past the post. We have yet another argument against first past the post. Socially representative, I think the Commons you could argue is, is still far more. However, the Lords would argue they do have some form of representation in having people from different backgrounds, different experiences. Um, for every Lord Sugar um, and Baroness Lawrence, uh, they could argue they represent different sections of society. Um, and finally, how representative is Parliament overall? Well, the Commons takes the fair load of representation as a function, as one of our five functions. So the Commons, you could say, is somewhat representative, far more so than the Lords. Um, but how, that number is really up to you to decide overall how representative Parliament is. And that is that.